Hi. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. My name is Barry. I'm Jay. And together we are with Tusu Craft. So, yes, thank you. So, I can see we've got a few of you here already. So, Julia um, Jackson. Julie. Oh, Julie, sorry. And I've got my glasses on. <laughs> So thank you for joining us. Um, yes, please pop on when you hop in, um, say hi, pop a comment in. Um, and obviously by popping a comment in, it will put you into our drawer at the end for our card, mm. which we make tonight. But we'll go over that again in a second when we we'll let a few more people hop in. Yes. So good. So over to you. Yes, so um, apologies that we didn't have a live on Sunday, but hopefully you enjoyed the video that we uploaded uh, using the ornamental envelopes and the matching envelope dies uh, creating a bridge fold card uh, with just <laughs> so if you haven't seen it this is the card uh, check it out from our channel and it folds flat for posting as well which is great uh, and it's just amazing using the ornamental envelopes from the mini catalog as well and this evening we will be using the trimming the town suite as the the title said <laughs> uh, but before then we will do a drawing for last wednesday's youtube live uh, but yeah i finished the card off camera and this is what i came up with uh, using the branch the branches as Sprigs, trees, trees, trees branches, something wreath. as banners instead of the uh wreath that Barry created and yes um we shared that card on Instagram and on Facebook so hopefully you've seen that as well and yes a lot of people have been commenting it, it yes it was uh, it, it looks really good mm -hmm. and um and there's a lot of combination as well yeah so it is so um so, yeah, so we've already given away the card which we already made on wednesday but like i say jay's just made this one up as well so we're going to draw a drawing for this now so if you hear um, if you put a comment in on the other comments uh, afterwards underneath on last wednesday's video we're going to pick your we're going to pick somebody's name for that very very soon should we do that right now yes we'll okay. say hello to people what yeah so we hello, have fish um designs um, Barry's left the video so I can see who else is in there. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I, just set it up. I know, I was kidding. Okay, hold the card up. I'll hold the card. Jay thought he was going to be able to do some stuff. and then. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so the winner of this one here tonight will be. Dun, dun, dun. We have got. Who is it going to be? Who's it going to be? Maureen. Maureen. Whoop, whoop. And I'm pretty sure you asked you wanted to win a card from us, if I remember correctly. Yes. So Maureen, um, please contact us, and um, the card here, which Jace just showed you, will be on its way to you. Yes. So um, email us or um, message us on Facebook or Instagram, and we will get that uh, sent to you. I still need to take a picture though, so yes. maybe after. <laughs> <laughs> it will come to you after he's taken the picture. But we will still be giving away the card which we will be making tonight at the end. So the uh, from the Coming Home um, stamp set. So obviously get your comments in on a live comment, which a lot of you are already doing. And we'll pick um, we'll pick a winner from that one as well tonight at the end. So stay tuned. Yeah, just as a um, comment that we do have two fans going. So if you can't hear us, just say on the comments as well. Uh, it's so hot, we have two of the windows open and we have had motorbikes up and down the road, so please bear with us. <laughs> yeah, and they'll probably start coming in as soon as we start um, getting right into the nitty gritty. Even yes. though I have to, I'm going to, might have to turn the other fan on actually, yeah. I'm, oh, I thought I'm, I'm that's sweltering in here at the moment. Cool, um, so hi Janice, Mary, hello, thank you for joining us. Sandra, Linda, hello. Uh, Iniki. Uh, Rebecca from a very hot um, Bradford. Yeah, it's yeah, it's very hot here as well. Um, I think we must have um, uh, my mum's on here, and she said it's much cooler now. It's not cooler. We live four miles apart, and it's not cooler this side of town. It did say rain, but there's still no breeze <laughs> at all. So, so lovely. Yes. All right. We'll get so back in. let's crack on. There we go. 
Oh. Okay, so let's have a little look at what we've got here. Humid Ohio as well there. Um, I think it's just humid and hot everywhere at the moment, isn't it? So, um, Kathy, so yes. Lovely, all right, I just need to just compose myself and see what we're gonna do. All right, so as mentioned, coming home and home together dies. So this is a stamp set right here, beautiful. Um, it's not something we would initially go for, but we are in September doing this very special class of this one. So we've got our online retreat using the Coming Home Suite, which is why we've got this one. And we also thought it was something which is also universal and was able to be adapted to all year round because the houses aren't necessarily Christmas. Um, the car, you can decorate the tree up something. You can put some, you can make that, put some, um, and uh, some splatters on there to make that into another season. So it didn't necessarily say Christmas all the time to us, apart from obviously if you want to put the wreath on it. But so this is why we'd quite like to would like like this set. Um, but we're going to be doing a Christmas card today. So the the home together dies are these ones right here, and you have got all the houses cut out quite nicely. You've got your tree, the car, the um, the other tree here, the branches more, the reef. You got, and you've also got some hills and some lovely um, ones which don't cut out from this set here, but they've got the really nice some treat boxes, and you've got the hills here as well, which would be really really nice. So this is what they look like once they are all cut out. All right, so they look lovely, and the hills. So obviously you can do the hills with your scissors if you really wanted to, but you get a perfect, perfect one all the time, and especially this one here, you get the trees which come with it as well so you can make some really nice scenes of this so that's what we're going to be using this evening um and i'm gonna we're gonna pair this with one of the sentiments because this doesn't come with any sentiments either so you need to take a sentiment from somewhere else so we're going to take one from the poinsettia petals and we're going to go warm wishes from our home to yours which i thought we, which we both thought was a really nice sunset to go with this one um we figured you could do like new homes as well new new home new car there's there's lots of different things which you can do with this set so we're gonna have a play but we're gonna you're gonna see the set come up a lot from us recently but say so we have got a special class at the end of september um so if anyone is interested in that please head over to our website matusucrafts.com go onto our classes tab and you'll see all the details there now we have one for the uk option because you will need the stamp set and we'll send you the kit but we do have a worldwide option on there as well um so far obviously we know that we've got a lot of our worldwide friends from here you can also join in but obviously you'll have to buy the stamp set from your demonstrator in your or from yourself in your local country okay so that's um that's that so check that out over on our website so good all right i am gonna grab myself then some paper and i have got myself some whisper white here a mixture of Whisper White Thick and Whisper White. I've already gone and cut down my card base. The card base here we cut down automatically at 14.6 centimetres. Okay, and it's at 21 and scored at ten and a half at 10 and a half centimetres. So that's our card base all set up. And I need some blocks. There they are already. Yeah, I've had it. Oh, I'm sweltering in here at the moment. It's really hot. So what I'm going to do, um, can I have some memento as well, please, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that I forgot. Can I have a tissue, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm, I'm melting that much, I'm going to end up dripping all over the cardstock in a moment. Sorry, you didn't need to hear that. <laughs> I can ponder it. Yeah, we might have to do this in stages, and Jay might have to come in and... Um, let me have a breather. So I'm going to stamp some of the... Tommy, you can't sit there. I've got stuff going on. Come on. See, it hasn't even been used yet. It's a brand new set. But that is soon to change. So I'm going to just place all of my stamps on a block. 
and I'm gonna stamp them in memento, okay? And then I'm just gonna let the, the memento dry a little bit and then we're gonna do some coloring and some die cutting. And we will be doing some die cutting tonight with the lovely new Stampin' Up Cut and Boss machine, which we have taken, taken delivery of. So I'm very excited about that. So if some of you haven't seen that already, then you're gonna get a preview of it tonight. Um, and we have got brand new plates. Yeah. Woo. Well, not Which, so brand well, not so new. brand new. I have used them already, but they are um, they're they're they're, they're new. <laughs> <laughs> the side the sides are intact. <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm doing these, and I'm stamping these on Whisper White Thick here at the moment because I'm going to be colouring in some blends as well. So thick works quite nicely for these. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah, Jay, I hope you're ready to come and take over because I'm, I'm melting away over here. Kathy said you could always take your shirt off. No one would know. <laughs> no one would know, no. I said I would. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Before we come live, I was, I did have my shirt off and Jay said, remember to put your shirt on. <laughs> Which I thought was, yeah, like, you don't want to be, you don't want to be seeing that. Really, you don't want to be seeing that at all. But no, nobody would know, would they? <laughs> So that's those three parts done right there. So I'm taking inspiration from the catalogue as well for this one. Um, and I'm going to be doing it. So the houses can be stamped on their own, die cut on their own and used on their own. And what, how I'm going to do these ones here is I'm going to layer them up to make a nice fancy house. Okay. Um, so we've got all of these parts. And I'm just going to stamp some of the the trees here. So who's got this set yet? Anyone? Um, Michaela has got it and it's her favourite set. Good, yeah. So I think it's going to be one which we're definitely going to enjoy using. So that's that like so. So let's just pop those to one side. So that's all of my stamping done. So what we can do now is we can do some colouring. And then we'll then start to construct the card. So the, hard, the longest part is going to be this colouring here. Ooh, just wipe my brow. Okay, so I'm going to grab my blends here. And I'm going to colour in some of the red. So I'm going to colour the house in in the red. So I'm taking my inspiration from the catalogue. But I kind of want to show you how the stamp set works. If you've not seen this set, and obviously you look through the catalogue and you think, so if it looks good, how have they done that? So I'm kind of really showing you how to do that tonight. I just need to make myself a little bit of room here. All right, so I'm just going to, so I'm kind of color these in, in the color have I got here. This will be the um, Poppy Parade, which we have got. So I'm just gonna color it. And we're just gonna keep the coloring really, really simple. It's just going to be some block colouring here, nothing, nothing too fancy. I will use the dark as well just to add a little bit of highlights and shadows, but I'm going to keep it real plain and easy.
here comes the motorbike, so it's going to get a little bit noisy in a second. Does anyone else go really, really quiet when they're colouring? So Jay's looking after all of your comments. Yeah, and Jay's looking after the, the names as well, so for the, you're going to win this card at the end. So if you'd like to win it, get a comment in. When Jay remembers to actually write the comments down, <laughs> write everyone's names down. So I'm just going to take the, um, the dark here and I'm just going to add like a little bit of shadow underneath the, underneath the roof here. So where you would imagine the roof overhanging a little bit and maybe a little bit underneath some of the windows here as a bit of a window seal. And then I'll grab my light again and we'll just blend that out. in a little bit I just love the blends okay. the bikes did coming down the road coming down quite quietly actually Okay, so I'm going to do the same on all three of these houses here. So it's a great set if you want to if you want to do some colouring, if you enjoy your colouring and it's quite relaxing as well. Then again, this is definitely a set I think for for you if that's what you enjoy doing. Oh, mini. What's everyone saying, Jay? Any comments, any questions at all? Yeah, really. I'm still adding names. Uh, Beth e says hello. Cindy says you guys just look at it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, there. Uh, Joanne's um, first time to catch us live. She's from Canada. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for joining us. Wow, 2.18 p.m. And then we just blend that out, so. Love these. It's very subtle, the blending, but it just adds, but you can see that there's something, there's something there. And then we'll just do the same for the last one over here. So I'll just put J up of everyone's names. <laughs> and, and he's also got a cat on him as well, so there's I tell you, it's one of the hottest weeks which we've had him, but our cats, I don't know whether or not you, but you'd, you'd think that they wouldn't want to cuddles and attention. No, they still want to be with us. Still want to sit on us. And it's very hot. So you can see I've switched over to, because I'm a little, it's a little bit finer on this one here, so I've actually now switched over to the to the bullet nib just gives me a little bit more control when colouring especially when I'm on a smaller on a smaller area so that's that one so I'm gonna just take can I have a lighter brown please Jay okay 
soft suede or something. And can I also have a, maybe a yellow as well? So I'm gonna, whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm just gonna color in the trees. So I'm gonna color in. I gave you cinnamon cider, it would have been nice. Oh, what, for the roof? Yeah. Okay, well I'll try cinnamon cider on one of them. You could always use an off cut. Yeah. And then place it to see. So I'm gonna go with some. A little bit of shading on that tree there. It's a really, really simple shading and colouring here. And then just go over it with your with your light just to then as it says, blend it in. You do need to see it will just uh, the ink will come round and come through. So make sure your you've got something underneath which isn't gonna be too too isn't gonna be a problem if it gets ink on it. So So uh, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the roof then in cinnamon cider as Jay thought that would be nice. I initially when I looked at it I thought it might be a bit too dark. So we'll do a test. But we'll see. It's a lovely colour anyway, but I suppose I'm just going with and there they go. And we're just colouring. I hope you don't mind me colouring. It's, it's a bit boring, isn't it, seeing me colour? I think sometimes it's nice to see how people follow. Yeah, see, my colouring, I would say, I, I'm a, obviously, I'm, a, my, I'm going to say my colouring has improved since practising and playing and obviously watching other videos and watching Jay colour. Um, I am obviously going to big Jay up here now. He does have a... It does have a, a good talent for colouring and the patience to colour as well, whereas I'm, see, I'm quite quick. Whereas Jay would quite happily probably sit here and spend a lot of time colouring and really building up the layers. So depending on what you want from it, will be... Will be good. There we go. So... So yeah, I quite like the cinnamon cider. I keep cinnamon cider here for the roof. Um, that's it, Joe's got everyone's names in so far. So just colour across. That clamp. So there we go, that's that one. And I'll go with the dark now and we will add some some shading in here. So kind of like a little bit. I'm going to go round and up a little bit. And I'm just roughly, I'm doing it rough on that. Colouring each. Nice. This is going to be the longest part of the card. Everything else should then come together quite smoothly, quickly. 
so you've got a little bit of cut shading in there we'll do the same here for the for the chimney and come in with the dark have a dark part there Oh, there's a bit of thunder in the background as well. Okay, so we're going to have heat, motorbikes and thunder to contend with tonight. <laughs> so let's just colour these slats in on this roof here. The dark I did on that one there. So. Really simple. There we go. And the last one over here. Just finish that off with a quick dark edge, like so. I think what we do, we will have a nice blue door. Cinnamon, cinnamon cider looks alright. It does it? actually. It's a nice colour for a for a wood, kind of like a, a roof roof effect. It's a nice. It's, um, quite, it's quite bright. Yes, um, it's a very, it's a coffee. it's a very warm. It's quite a warm brown, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think the crumb cake would have been lighter. Yes, it would have been. So, got that one there. So let's do the same. So the colour I'm using on here is pool party, so it's a very, very subtle colour. A very, very subtle. And then once you bring in the the dark and then blend it out a little bit it just looks nice and the same see if you build up the colors it does come up and the last one oh, and I think I've put the wrong cut the is it the wrong lid that must be somebody else that does that. <laughs> somebody has got a very... Uh, somebody has a problem and doesn't put the lids back on I stuff. I don't think it was me. Oh. Well, I, I think... Oh, even I'm getting myself confused now. I've got the light here. No, it's me. I don't know what's going on. I'm hot. I'm bothered. I'm going to have to go back on the replay now and see whose fault it was, whether or not it's mine or Jane's. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just blame me, it's mine. <laughs> I normally do. So I'm going to carry on there, that's that. So there we go, that's those bits. Now I think what I want to do is I want to do with a little bit of yellow in the windows because I want them to be warm. Like somebody is somebody has got all the electricity on in the in the house. So I want a nice warm keeping their home as warm as today. <laughs> oh yeah, I want a nice warm glow coming from the windows. Is that that would be alive? It is, yes. Yes. I don't know, I'm just 
I'm just playing now with a little bit of dark in here, look in the corners, and now I'm just gonna then pull it out. Do the same over here. And same on the front porch. So I've got all the electricity going in this house. So there we go, there is my um, my reef done. What I would just one last thing I will do is I'm just gonna grab the um the light one of the old olive and I'm just gonna just You double checking that. Yeah. I'm just gonna go round these quickly. And we will colour the Cut a little ribbon in in the poppy parade. Like so. All right, so that's what we're gonna do with those ones there. Now what we're gonna have to do is cut all of these out. So we are gonna bring in the good old. Oh, the good new. Oh, well, the good new. If anyone hasn't seen it yet, can't really see it because it's down. Let's come up a little bit higher, ruin the illusion here. So there is the the new machine. So it comes like this and we down flat like that. So I'm going to have it like this. Uh, let's go that way so you can see it. Oh, that's uh, a better way of showing, isn't it? It is. And then we have got brand new plates. So we've got number one, number two, number three and number four so the four is going to be for your embossing um one two and three is going to be for your die cutting now we haven't got a magnetic plate not as of yet look at that new plates being christened but new plates um so we just need to remember now we keep one for the base so that we keep one for cutting and then we keep one from the top okay and that's kind of how we operate with our dies to um with our plates to keep them to try and keep them as flat as possible and then we rotate we turn around both sides and yeah we will do bits we would we will sort it out okay so because we haven't got a magnetic platform we are going to just use a little bit of washi tape just to hold these in place a little bit just to make sure that they don't move. So I spent all that time coloring. Um, so what, I'm what I can do is I can do that off. I can do that first and then I can then bring it into the machine. So I can then. Because I haven't got the magnetic platform and I'm using washi tape, this allows me to be able to do this um, because I haven't got the magnets jumping it around. And last one. Oh, I 
okay this is gonna I'm gonna do that one last because I need to get the placement on that one a little bit more precise so I'm gonna bring my machine back in again so our lovely Suki <laughs> so the stamping up cut and boss machine in we go See, I am going to, well, one thing I didn't realise, I didn't plan it's on this, <laughs> is it is too long. So I'm going to just run it through first and I will just cut the, um, cut the first lot. And this cut's lovely. It's really, really smooth going through, no jumping, hardly. And... Those, and they cut out so nice so we have got one I'll show you those in a second two I'm missing a tree here it is there three if you do use washi tape just be careful that it's not too sticky ours is a little bit sticky and it tears the tape the paper so you just need to be careful when doing it that you're not actually going to damage your piece of paper which you're working with as well but it's not too much of a problem on this one because we're not using the not using the the bits it's torn and then run it through for this last one straight out love it so that's that all right so now what I want to do is I just need to get the positioning sorted for the reef Christine said a, a few people are calling it the boss the boss uh, in Canada <laughs> I believe um, people are calling it cut and boss Bring out, bring out the boss. Yeah, the yeah, boss the works boss. as well. And then Christine said, if, if it's the big one, so if it's the small one, would it be called Junior? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Suki Junior. Now, I, I would like to say we come up with the name of Suki, but it was actually a friend of ours that came up with the name of Suki, um, Stamping Up Cat and Boss. Now, I quite like it because obviously one of our cat's names is Suki. So... I think I quite like the Suki because <laughs> it's named after one of our cats. And there we go, we have got the reef. Oh, I'm a little bit off with my placement on that, but that's not too bad. So there we go. So that there is the lovely new Stampin' Up Cut and Boss machine. So as demonstrators, we are able to pre-order this now and it goes on general sale for customers in... Um, in September. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. I'm not going to fold it up just yet, just in case when I need it again, it's all ready for me. I need said boss lip. Oh, I love it. That sounds so cute. <laughs> so let's just take off all of my sticky before they get stuck to something and then work their way into the bin. You know me. Tidy up as I go. And that's that. So I will be using some of these as well. So I'm going to take out these little edge bits right there. And then let's just pop that to one side. Oh, bear with me one moment. I'm, I'm melting. I'm doing a Christmas card and I'm melting. It just doesn't seem right. All right, so that's, that's that. What I've got to do now is I've now got to make the lovely decision on what paper to use. So this is the gorgeous Trimming the Town Designer Series paper. And I think this is the paper I'm going to be using for tonight, so the snowflakes, because it works quite well. But you've got so it, both sides of these papers are absolutely gorgeous. So you've got this one here, 
and you've got a lovely sort of stripe pattern. So I think the, these type of patterns are good to get you box making. Very, very nice. So that's that one. You've got this one right here. I can see this is a perfect scrapbook page, this one right here. So if you like your scrapbooking, you can do something. You've got a perfect scene made up straight away. So you get two of everything. Um, obviously double sided so obviously if you are if you have a design where you like both sides then you're in trouble um, you just need to buy a second pack so there we go that's that one there we have this one again with polka dots like so and we have got the reefs now I wonder I wonder does this does it I think so does it does it It does, of course you know, it, it cuts out, so the die also cuts out the um, the paper as well. And I'm sure the die is, there's one, there's a large die in here. And again, I know, I think on this one here, the dies would also cut out the paper. So if and you didn't want to sand the trees, and you've got a larger one here, which you haven't got a stamp for, but it works perfectly with that one right there. So the papers, so you can, so if you, even if you didn't want a stamp, so you could buy the paper oh no it does <laughs> i don't i obviously it's because i haven't used it so there is a stamp for this one here but if you want to you can stamp and or if you want some really quick and simple cards you can do some die cutting from your paper as well so the paper and the die is really versatile on this one so good that's that one and then you've got the wording which is this one right here so again you could just pretty much buy the by the dies and the paper and die cut and you've got your sentiments here as well but if you are buying that you might as well buy the stamp set as well and get it, get it 10 percent cheaper so it's good now the one which i'm going to use is the snowflakes jay can i just give those to you to yep. pop back into that, and i need a trimmer cool. all right so i've got my trimmer so at the beginning, obviously, what we've done is we cut down our card base. Now I'm just going to have to confirm, com um, just to talk to Jay for a moment. What way do we want to cut our paper? So we want to cut it that way round. We we have to decide what way we want to cut our paper to get the best out of it. You see, because if we it doesn't matter so much this side, but it may affect that side. So we're deciding to cut it so that we cut a long strip that way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at ten. Actually, I'm going to go at ten and a half to start off with. No, I'm going to go. Mm, decisions? Do I? I'm going to. No, I'm going to go with a border around it. Yeah. So I'm going to go with ten. by 14.1, oh, you can't see you can't see there, 10 by 14.1. So you'll be able to get two out of a strip. So that there is then going to then go on and that's given me now a nice border around the outside like that. And I quite like it. Sometimes if you go edge to edge, as nice as it looks sometimes, if you haven't got it quite, if you don't stick it down quite correctly, it. I think it sometimes looks a little bit untidy, so which is why I always like doing a nice a nice border around the outside. Okay, so that's that one there. Then what I want to do is I want to grab some of my Whisper White here again. Now I want one which is going to be longer, so I'm going to want a a hill. So I just need to decide what one I want. So on there, the cutting edge is at the top, so I need to be aware of what, where the cutting edge is. Yeah. And I'm going to cut that to 14.1 as well. Ooh. So that's going to be that one right there. Decisions. Okay, so let's bring the cut and the sucky in again. Okay. 
there we go and we're just going to place that heel in like that plate on top and run that freight yes see it does remind you of herbie lovebug doesn't it Okay, so I've got that like that. Okay. So that will go on like that one there. Now I can if to see if this will work as well to give me a second a second hill in here. It will work to give me a second hill like that. Yeah. So that will work quite nicely. So just have a little think, don't worry about this. I, I kind of planned that uh, to give me a second heel like that one there. Did you really? I, I did. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to work perfectly, but it, it did. So that's that. <laughs> and then what, I'm gonna, what, I, what I want to do is I want to do another one with the, with the trees. But I know that the trees are going to get um, are going to get covered up on this side over here, on this side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run it through. You got it. Yeah. Bring that back through that side. Getting a good old workout out on that on machine, and um, we'll pop that in like that and cut those through it cuts lovely i'm really really happy with how this cuts ones there cuts like that so you've got a nice you've got an innie and an outie so you can use this one maybe think about using this because you can maybe do something and do do that as a silhouette maybe I'm not sure so does I, I might keep that and see whether or not I can come up as a stencil as well can I just have some sponges please Jay and what um, I want to I really want to look very light blue, so I think like the pool party would work quite nicely. Or is that going to be, or a balm blue actually. I just, want, I just want something just so I can just highlight and some scrap yeah. paper, please. I'm going to see how this is going to work. So I'm just going to, just I just want to highlight these hills just a, uh, just a tiny bit. So a sponge, and I kind of just want to, I really just want to just kiss them, okay, I just want to just add a, probably won't show up too much, but when they're together it might just give it just enough shadow just to, just to say there's a, there's a line there. Okay. And on this one. And the same thing on the trees. Now I just need to be careful with this one. Actually, I'm not going to do it so much on the back one because I don't want to interfere with the with the trees up to here. But what they will do on this one is that they will just add a little bit of. If I bring that in a little bit closer, it will just add just a tiny, tiny little bit of shading there. 
just to just to separate those heels just a tiny bit. That's a little bit of a tip for you, but you don't want to go too heavy handed on it. And what I can do as well, now this is the idea which is from the catalogue on this one. So I'm going to use some of the Misty Moonlight. Use the same sponge now because I'm not going to use it. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just darken down some of the edges on this designer series paper. Gonna, it's just a, just a highlight. It's not going to be too intense, but it's just going to low light. Low light sorry, <laughs> just to intensify the night sky. So this is a lovely misty moonlight which we're using here. So that's those done like that. There we go, we're all coming together now. So good, that's that. I think what we will do now is I will stick this one down. But so it's been so warm it's dried up, or there's nothing in it. I think the other one is running. Let's see. So I can see there's lots of comments. So if you haven't seen, if you if you're late joining us. We will be giving this card away at the end. So if you'd like to win it, hop in, hop a comment in. Doesn't matter where you live, we will post it to you. There we go. Linville's got um, uh, Herbie, a white Herbie. Oh really? So that's that. So that's that bit down, like so. And then it's a matter of just building these little layers up here. So I'm just going to then stick that one on, and then this one is going to go at the back like that. So you're going to have to work from back to front on this. And then we're going to have those houses. So one thing I haven't done with this house is, is to cut this down to the correct size. So I just need to take this down to 14.6, 14.1, sorry. And then that's going to go behind. So it just gives me an idea. So that's going to go down like that. Always glue the middle at the back of the front. Sorry, I say that again. If you glue, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got, I, I thought you were struggling. No, I'm okay. got my got, I've got my positioning there now, so I'm happy with that. So I'm happy with that positioning. So I know it's pretty much I'm going to line it. I've got my eyeball there. I'm going to line it up pretty much with the bottom of. I've got, well, I've got my I've got my focal point where I know I need it to the bottom part needs to line up with. So, just when you're putting it down, just have a little bit of position it without the glue, and then give yourself a reference point to then go back to. Which was that part right there? So I know I'm going to be. On that. I'm just going to bring it down a tiny bit lower than that reference point. So that's that there. So that's that. So good. 
and then I'll do the same for this one so again that's pretty much going to be in line with the bottom of that anyway so that's that one's an easy one to, to set to set up I know I'd probably just come a little bit higher on that one so can you see now that that blue haze which I put on there is just It's just enough to separate those two. And then we will then stick this down flat as well. And that's obviously gonna then go down to the bottom part. Like that. So you can see it just gives that little bit of a haze between the two the two areas so we've already got so that's that part done which is already quite nice on its own really um it's a nice little christmas scene um you could just uh, nice little some sentiments on there would look lovely now what you want to do is with the with the house it's a matter of just building building this up so the house for me is going to go onto the to the bottom the bottom snow drift or it could um could i get it in underneath Let's just see, and then because like, you can then build these up, like this, okay, I'm going to stick the house is going to go on the front, so the first house I'm going to stick on the straight down. I backseat that for my craft room. <laughs> yeah. So if this is our house, you've got that, that whole thing as your craft room. I'm surprised yeah. actually you haven't taken this one as your craft room. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. Can I have the um, um, sticky removed, please? Yum. So just got a little bit on my finger and just glued a bit of excess glue. I have to stick it that side to cover up that bit there now. <laughs> <laughs> that still works. That still works like that, and then yeah, we can have two doors going into the house. You can have a. I think that works still, doesn't it? Why? What are you covering? Some glue down there. I must have a little bit on my finger. I can't pick it up, my nails are short. Why don't you put that on the left? There you go. Like that? Yeah. Okay, all right. That's good. Um, some dimensionals, please, it Joe. Be one I'm going to stick this one down flat as well. And then I'm going to stick this next one is going to go on to some dimensionals. So there's quite a lot of layers to this card. So for postage wise, you just want to think it through. I was just thinking what we're going to give away for Sunday. Well, Sunday, yes. I don't know. Take your pick at all. No, you're not giving away take your pick. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. We're not giving away take your pick at all. Yeah, can do. So, I just want some dimensionals on here. Yes, 
Yes, uh, um, Steffi, the, the layering of the houses is lovely, isn't it? It's, uh, I like the idea, that you, the fact that you can do it without the layering of the houses or, or with, so you can really make yourself up some nice, nice scenes. And then that one there can go over like that. And obviously one thing which I need to pop on here, I have got some Christmas trees. So I can try and stick that one, can go behind those trees over there like that. Or I can have that one at the front and that one can go behind a little bit. Yeah, I think that works better. This one right here. And that one can just get tucked behind ever so slightly behind the house and goes back into the distance just a little bit more, like so. And then to fit a couple of the last finishing touches here, we have got the wreath. Nice big reef. So I've coloured some stuff in, but obviously um, I didn't know what I was going to get, what I was going to be covering up. So you just want to colour it all in, and then you get you've got your bits to cover cover up, and then that can go on like so. And then with the sentiments, which I probably should have done before sticking down, we will see. Let's have a little look at how well this may work. So we've got the poinsettia one here. Um, so warm wishes from our home to yours. So they're a lot, quite a bit bigger than what the um, than on the actual image because there's a load of stamps in this one, which I think is lovely. So they're nearly fifty percent. I think it's it's a bit else on the. Oh, um, image at 60, at uh, 65%. So these are 65% images at 65% smaller. So it's 35% bigger. 35% bigger. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was using my fingers to count, so I think that was... Yes, no, that sounds about right. 35%. Okay, so that okay, has the volume gone down low for anyone else, or is it just us, um, or is it just Christine? <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna stick that. That can go straight on, I think, just down on the bottom corner, down there, I reckon. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening on my um, earphones. Is it good? The is it volume's fun? been okay. Oh, the volume's been okay. Volume's been okay, RN, Christine. Jay's listening to it on the microphone, on speakers, so he's got double me. Lucky him. <laughs> See, the thing is, I know he's got double me because he doesn't hear me straight away. Um, and then he, then he giggles. <laughs> so, memento, and we are just going to go down here in the black. Um, warm wishes from our home to yours. And down we go. I'm just going to hold it and a little bit of pressure on this. Just to make sure that that definitely has got free. Just to make sure that there's nothing underneath. And that's that. So, how long have I been going on for? Just over an hour. And we have one card like that. So quite a long card to do. So it's not one that you, well, you might want it if you've got lots of these. I think they're really effective. And I just like this set. Um, you can put the car in here. There's all sorts you can do with it. Um, I don't know where the, but yeah, you've got the car. You can, you can build up some other things as well. So the car could be parked down here in the driveway, maybe. You could do all sorts. Um, so there is my card so we're going to give this away now so get your comments in quick um jay's going to come over he's just going to finalize putting the last couple of names in and we are going to give this away um and we would also give this one away on wednesday i wish i show everyone what we're going to do on wednesday no we'll, we'll show what when afterwards you're... okay all right whilst we're setting it all up yeah <laughs> yeah 
Lovely. All right, so last chance to get your names in because we are now going to pick a winner to get this win this card. So we're just going to pull everyone's names up. Um, and there we go. So we've got lots of you in there today. All right, you're going to come over again, Joe? Who's coming over? I'm coming. Oh, Hi. that was warm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so stay until the end. If you're watching the replay, uh, I still have my, uh, now I got double me. Uh, if you're watching the replay, do com uh, pop a comment in the video as well. So you'll win um, what I created for the Sunday upload. So you'll get to win this one. The bridge fold card with the ornamental envelopes and envelopes dice bundle from the August to December 2020 mini catalog as well. So okay. yes, so that's for the following one. So, but obviously you all would love to win Barry's card. It's amazing. I love it. Um, so does it look like there's any new names on there at all, Jay, which have come in? Nope. I think um, everyone's nope. names. That's yeah. good. So for this evening, um, for the live stream, you will win this card. Uh, all names are added on, and good luck to everyone. Let's turn you around, and you can now see. Bring you in a little bit closer, and we are gonna pick a winner. And the winner of this card tonight is. Do do do. Well, just move the thing. Sandra, mum. Sandra Selwood. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> We did have names, other names there, right? <laughs> we did, yes. Cool, well done. That's a nice easy one to post out, isn't it? Uh, by hand, I think. <laughs> but hand delivery on this one. Uh, there we go. Excellent. So, let's pop you over. Yay. Oh, that's it, yeah, a bit of a wonk, sorry. Uh, yes. That's good. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Obviously, if you do like that and want to purchase anything, please um, head over to our online shop. Or are you going to show that quickly? Yes. Um, so we're so hot. Uh, I just wanted to share this scrapbook page. Uh, we don't do much scrapbooking, uh, but this went live on our blog and more pictures on there. When we went to Norway on our cruise, all um, were warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, minus 10 degrees, so a bit of a contrast to our 30 degrees we've got at the moment. That was like minus 10, um, and I loved it. Yeah. I loved the cold. <laughs> and that's for the Spot uh, Creative Challenge, so check the challenge blog and enter yourselves if you like scrapbooking as well. And show us how it's done, because that that's probably like one, um, the first one I've done in a, a year, long time. Yeah. a year or so. But watch this space, because... I've been looking at <laughs> what else I could do. <laughs> yeah, cool. Cool. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks everyone for watching. Hit that like button, whatever side it like, is. Comment, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. We'll be amazing. And if you want to win the other card, get another comment in underneath afterwards. Lovely. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you soon. Bye Thank for you. now. See you Bye. Sunday. Bye.